And good evening, everybody. This is Emmanuel, also known as Uncrasmatic, bringing to you a review of the Bandai 8-inch Gore Source from the movie King Kong Escapes in 1967. This is one of the more popular Bandai figures. Uh, of course, Gore Source is one of the more popular uh, kind of secondary tier characters in the Godzilla Kaiju lineup. And let's take a look at the tag. I bought this at a store here in downtown Manhattan for about $40 when it was released. And it was released, as you can see, uh, in 1993. And there's the scene from King Kong Escapes where he's about to battle Mechanicong. And in the back, his name, Gorosaurus in Katakana, and then the yen price of 1,200 yen. So we'll set the tag off to the side. And Gorosaurus, the actual figure, one of the distinguishing features is the head sculpt, which I think is very, very good. It's quite accurate to the suit and manages to capture the sort of um, stiff facial expression that Gorosaurus always has, which is not necessarily a detriment to the suit, but it's actually a strength to the figure itself, as you can see that the eyes are... are kind of locked into a certain gaze and of course it's painted so the eyes would be locked but the the personality of Gorosaurus is captured very very well by this figure uh, you can say that for the Bandai 8 inch line the personalities of the kaijus that they represent are not always transmitted um, as successfully as this figure is they mimic certain some poses where he leans forward as such if only that there was a little bit of head articulation looking up but of course they didn't have the technology for that at the time but it remains one of the best figures in the bandai line quite quite a good value let's go ahead and and take a look at the head sculpt the teeth let's start with the drawbacks the teeth right away uh, they're not individually molded but again at this price point, you're not looking for them to be individually molded. You're looking for some paint detail, at least, and the teeth have a nice... Um, I wouldn't really call it off-white, but it's it's closer to white than off-white, off -white, but at least there is a bit of, of uh, effort not to make it pure white, because we don't want teeth that are purely white, as it's unrealistic. And the detail and the scales of the toy are another strength, the kind of dinosaur scales. Let's see if we zoom in a bit. Right, that's some very nice detail work here of the scaly pattern. And the eye catcher in this figure is the nice metallic paint sheen on the back, which adds detail. Articulation the head is fairly limited. It's just I think an attachment point for the mold uh, and less of an articulation feature. The main articulation is in its arms and obviously the legs as mentioned before. A little bit of highlights, paint highlights here in the belly which is reminiscent of not only the film um, but vintage Gorosaurus figures from Marison who had the cream or tan belly paint of the highlighting so that's a nice touch and just to compare or as a sort of companion piece if you will is the Mechanicong also from Bandai also from the 8 inch line so these are from the same movie one of the strengths again of the Gorosaurus figure are, is the detail in the skin surface, like the scales. Uh, I find it hard pressed to find any other figure that has the same reptilian scale look. Uh, quite skillful. Recommended figure. It is one of the more popular Bandai 8 inches. Not as expensive as the other more sought after figures, like uh, Biolante, I would say but definitely worth a pickup if you don't have it. And there you go. This is the 8-inch Bandai Gorosaurus.